you can have your, your kiosk here. The Esco Park. Yeah. Rules and regulations of the park. Yeah. Hole number one, you already have a post. Please look out for flying discs, frisbees, blah, blah, blah. And here's the laughing alley. Hole number one. Hole number one. For an idea. We'll see if we can't grab a hole off the back. Anything you'd have a short hole if you put one here. T here, shoot across the ravine. But there's a road which people are going to probably walk on. The only other thing would be to put a T over here. Shoot across. What do you think? Or we start this as number one. Number one, the loving alley. <laughs> there. And we just need to grab up there. Grab a hole off the back of it. Walk, walk that way. And... So I picture a lot of people using this when this is really full. It's like that. You can put one basket in the middle and put a T here, a T here, and a T back here. Have three different T's and just play them all three times for like a nine hole for just practicing. You can even have competitions where you take the best out of nine or the best out of 18. And here at the Lafazali. This is beautiful, beautiful. You can easily have a tee pad here going straight down to the end with a basket at the end or actually have it reversed. <laughs> Since I haven't walked the park yet, you could easily be shooting this direction, coming to here, and then move on to your next hole. What is no? What is no brainer? Means no brainer means you don't have to think about it. <laughs> you know, it's an obvious no location <laughs> for a basket. You don't have to use your brain. And here, uh, rest post. Yeah, rest if, spot. If, yeah. If you put your tee pad here, this is a perfect place for a bench. You would get shade from the heat, and then throw down to the end. Beautiful.